or Bella Shaver 21, and talks about Manasseh reigns in Judah. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign. He, was, he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hephazab, or yeah, Hephazab, and he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to, to this to the despicable. According to the despicable practices of the nations, when the Lord drove out before the people of Israel, for he for he rebuilt the high places that Hezekiah's father had destroyed. He erected altars for Baal, or for Satan, and made an Asherah, as they had king of Israel had done, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, you know, stars, planets, all that stuff, sun, moon, um, angels, and all that stuff. Um, which is the sin. You don't, you don't, you don't have to worship the one God, Jesus Christ, nothing else. It says, and, and he also served the host of heaven, which, which is wrong. You don't want to do that. You want to serve God, no one, no, no one else. And he built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord had said, In Jerusalem will I put my name. And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. And he burned his son as an offering and used fortune telling, which is a no no. No one knows the future, only God knows that. Not human beings, um, and omens, and dealt with mediums and with necromancers, people who could talk to the dead, which is a stupid part of demonic um, activity, uh, which is just pure evil. Um, you know, it's just crazy. I mean, people actually did this stuff, and I mean, only God is the future. No one, no one, and, and, and no one, and, and nobody, nobody can, no one. I say this right? No one can talk to the dead. I mean, they're dead. You can't talk to to. A ghost or whatever. It's just all de uh, all uh, demonic um, confusion, pretty much. Um, it says he did much evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger. And the and the carved image of Ashtoreth that he that he had made, he set in the house which the Lord said to David and to Solomon his son. In this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever, and I will not cause the feet of Israel. To wander in more out of the land that I gave to their fathers, if only they will be careful to, to do according to all that I have commanded them, and according to all of that the law that my servant Moses commanded them. But they, but they did not listen, and Manasseh led them astray to do more evil than the nations had done, whom the Lord destroyed before the people of Israel. So they gone right back to their sin, pretty much. Manasseh's idolatry denounced. The Lord said by his servants and the prophets. Because Manasseh, king of Judah, has committed these abominations and has done things more evil than all that the Amorites did who were before him, and has made Judah also to sin with his idols. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Jesus Christ, Behold, I am bringing upon Jerusalem and Judah such disaster that the ears of everyone who hears of it will tingle, and I will stretch over Jerusalem the measuring line of Samaria and the plumb line of the house of Ahab, and I will wipe Jerusalem as one wipes a dish, wiping it and turning it upside down. And I will forsake the remnant of my heritage and give them to the hand of the, and into their hand of their enemies. And they will become a prey and a spoil to all their enemies because they have done what evil in my sight. And have provoked me to anger since the day their fathers came out of Egypt even to this day. Moreover, Manasseh shed very much innocent blood until he had filled Jerusalem from one end to the other. Besides the sin that he had made Judah to sin, so that they did not what, so, so, so they did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. Man, he just he just murdered as, as many people as he could. It's evil man, he's like a dictator and all. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh and all that he did and the sin that he committed are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? And Manasseh died and was buried in the garden of his house in the garden of Uzzah and Ammon his son reigned in his place. Ammon reigns in Judah. Ammon was 22 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Meshulameth, the daughter of Haraz of Jotba. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, as Manasseh his father had done. He walked in all the way in which his father walked to serve the idols that his father served and worshipped them. He abandoned the Lord, the God of his fathers, and did and did not walk in the way of the Lord. And the servants of Ammon conspired against him and put the king to death in his house. But the, people of Israel, but the people of the land struck down all those who had conspired against King Amnon. And the people of the land had made Josiah the, his son king in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Amnon that he did are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah. And he was buried in his tomb in the garden of Uzzah, and Josiah his son reigned in his place. 
So, interesting here. Uh, 21, Manasseh uh, reigns in Judah. And then Manasseh um, turns Israel back to their sin and, and they follow idolatry and all that stuff. And um, so God pretty much has him killed because of that. And then Amnon takes over to be the next king and then he continues on with what his father did. He continued, he continued carrying Israel into sin and, and then um, God pretty much um, had people conspire against Amnon and had Amnon killed. So that's 21. Um, and I'll be back here shortly with 22 here in a minute.